Here we would like to show you how Cockpit interacts with other management tools rather than lock you into its interface as the only way of doing things. One of the most amazing things about Docker is the large repository of images available for immediate use in the Docker index. The Cockpit prototype we are using in this demo doesn't yet have support for pulling images from the Docker index, so let's do that from the command line instead. One of the important things about Cockpit is that it always reflects the state of the system. The user interface you see here is populated on the fly from the system, and you can switch back and forth between tools. Let's run an image with a terminal attached to it. Often, ready to deploy images don't need a terminal, but this is a raw operating system used as a base for creating ready to deploy images. This container is doing nothing as of yet. The container terminal allows you to attach to the container and perform actions inside it. Notice that inside a Docker container, nothing else is running but the process that we started earlier. This is part of what makes Docker containers lightweight as compared to virtual machines. Installing software in the Docker container lets us prepare a ready-to-deploy image for later use. We exited the last remaining process in the container, and now the container has stopped. Let's make a new image based on this container, so we can deploy it to other hosts by sharing it in the Docker index. This is called committing the container to an image. The cockpit prototype we're using here doesn't yet have support for committing the container, but because of the way cockpit works, doing advanced or unimplemented actions from other management tools isn't a problem. The new image that we created shows up in the images list, just like the images you pulled from the index.